Hi, Julie here with Just Plain Fun, and today I thought I would show you the updated version of the old paper bead designer that I had on paperbeadcrafts.com. Uh, now it is available to get to on jpfun.com, and it is now called the Bead Sheet Generator. Basically, what you're going to be focusing on is making bead sheets and not specifically specific beads in specific sizes and such. You're just making bead sheets. Okay, so what you do is you launch the page at jpfun.com slash paper hyphen bead slash generator. And, or you can just go to jpfun.com and follow the links there. Okay, so once you get there and you get it loaded, you're going to see bead sheet generator and you're going to see a bunch of images right here in this section. You're going to see a search box. When you type in search box, just use one word at a time, like Easter, Christmas, Halloween, yellow, blue, red, was something like that. And when you click search, the page is going to bounce. Let me demonstrate for you. So I'm going to put in the word, uh, let's say Easter, and then I'm going to put search. It's going to bounce because I'm loading a new page, which is loading only Easter items. But I'm going to do this again because I don't want Easter items right now and I'm bringing it back to normal. So you just hit, um, go up to the address bar and hit enter, and that will reload the page for you. And then just scroll down so the whole thing is in your screen. And then pick something. You can scroll through all the images like this until you find something what, that you want to use. And I'm going to use some pansies here. And if you, you can change from image to image just like this. And uh, so you, you can change your images. Then you're going to choose your page size, which is on the bottom left here. And there's letter in A4. And basically what that does is it formats your page to print on the piece of paper size that you have. And then you're going to choose your image size. Here you can, um, you don't have whole too many choices, but uh, you have from extra small to extra large or extra, extra large and extra, extra small. I like to go extra, extra large most of the time so I can actually see it. But if you want a micro image, you can go extra, extra small. And then the whole image will actually show up in your beads. It's kind of cool. And then you have different choices. You have all over. You have, uh, I'm going to generate that now. Okay, so you have all over. You have left side, which generates a bead sheet where the images are just on the left side. Those are great for making tube beads where you just cut a straight line across and then you roll them up with the uh, colors away from you at the far end of the strip. Okay, and then you can do both sides where you can cut wedges so that that way you have the images on both ends of the beads and then whatever you roll up, it'll be on the outside edges and down the center. Okay, then you have a setting here that's top edge only. So you can make two beads that have the image going the other way. You can have it going up and down on the bead or sideways on the bead. And then here you have top and bottom. It's the same idea as the top edge, but this time you have it on, you know, when you make cut wedges or triangles of your papers, you're going to end up with color at both ends of your beads and also down the middle with a white stripe. Okay, so if you want to do an all over again and you have no white, you just pick one of the um, full blown colors, something like that, extra large. And then here's the way that you're going to go ahead and save this to your computer. Uh, you can either print it, print it from here onto, directly onto a piece of paper, but then it's gone once you're done unless you come back and do the whole thing over again. But this is the way you want to save it. Oh yeah, one, one, one more thing. You want to make sure that you're doing this in Microsoft Edge. For some reason, it works now in Microsoft Edge. And when you print it to a PDF file in Chrome, it no longer works. You'll end up with a blank piece of paper. So to save it to your computer, this is what you do. You click on Print. And in this print dialog, it depends on what you have on your computer for a printer, but this is what I have. I have an HP Office Jet 
what I've got an HP printer, but I want to save this at a P, as a PDF so that I can use it another time. So I'm going to make sure I have save as PDF chosen, uh, and then you want to choose portrait all the time, no matter what. And then you're going to go to more settings, and you're going to make sure you choose the paper size that you chose on the screen, letter is what I chose. And then you want to make sure that you have no margins whatsoever so it can print edge to edge. And then you want to make sure that this is checked. This is very important, the background graphics. Make sure you check that. And then click Save, and what's going to happen is your Save dialog is going to pop up. And you're going to save it like to the desktop or somewhere. You're always going to get Feed Sheet Generator, Just Plain Fun.PDF. And you can change that to whatever you want or just put what you want in front of it. Like I'm going to put red pansy. Red pansy. I don't know if I spelled that right. Let's go back. Let's do P-A-N-S-Y. And then I, I like to put hyper hyphens between my words. But I'm going to get rid of uh, bead sheet generator and just go with just plain fun because that's where I got it from. And then you're going to hit save, just like that. And it's saved. So when you want to go ahead and open it, you can minimize the screen and go find it on your desktop and double click it. And there it is. You can either use Cute PDF or you can use Adobe Acrobat Reader to open up these files and you'll if you use if you want to use cute PDF which this is what I have I bought the professional version but you can get a free version just go to cutepdf.com if you want to use the Adobe Acrobat reader go to adobe.com and download it from there and I'll provide those two links down in the in the description okay so that's basically how you save a PDF file or your bead sheet to your computer from the website so I'm going to open that back up, and I can change an image if I wanted to. Kind of looks cool, doesn't it? But anyway, that's how you do it. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Oh, yeah, and if you want to read these instructions, just click on Generator Instructions. And you'll see what all the information about this. There is one that is for paid members. It has more images and more layouts and more sizes to choose from. So if you're not a paid member, you can use this one for free all you want. If you want to become a paid member, scroll up and look for membership and read the options there. And once you pay for membership, there's two payment options. One is a flat rate where you pay just once and you never have to pay another penny again. You have access to everything on the site. Or if you wanted to make 12 monthly payments just for 12 months, um, $8.95 or whatever it is at the time you look at it, um, then once the 12 payments are done, then you're done forever and you don't have to pay another payment for as long as the site is open. All right, so that is that. Thank you for watching. And until next time, thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.